Good afternoon. So it is a long day, and now it is almost five, uh, quarter to five. So I don't want to bore you at the end of the this long day. If you feel bored, or any time you just raise hand and stop me, I don't mind. Okay. So in this, it is a uh, three basic uh, theme or topics are there in this uh, in this session. That is the innovation, then the IP protection management, IP protection management, and the third one is on the software evidence. So my slides will be like that. The few slides, on the first few slides on the innovation, then followed by uh, the IP management perspective, and then on the software evidence. I will not. I am mean not a lawyer, so I am not going to talk on the law law perspective. So more on the management perspective, I talk on that this uh, today's session. So the complexities, <coughs> as we are advancing, the complexity increasing, like the world is becoming flat, and uh, that regime from the closed innovation to the open innovation, and the paradigm shift of the IP. So I'm more going to talk on the closed to open, and because the innovation is becoming open, what are the challenges for the IP? From the IP management perspective, so that we need to think on. So I'll just throw a few questions. I, there will be no answers on that because the questions is also in my mind. How to adapt the IP management in this open innovation world? Basically, the innovation is uh, 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 the the last one. The innovation is basically the invention plus the exploitation. In the most of the companies in Indian Indian scenarios, the exploitation part. I'm not talking on the MNC parts. I'm talking on the Indian industries. The exploitation part is missing. Invention is there. we are capturing the inventions. We are filing patents. We are filing copyrights. We are filing trademarks. But the exploitation part is missing. So the, in the true sense of the innovation, uh, it is not there. The true sense. Uh, so and also there is there is a little bit of uh, linking between the innovation and the IP management. That is also is not that stringent. So just a few data. That is the numbers. Uh, we want to connect that whether the R and D R and D um, expenses versus the number of patents. And uh, based on that, we think on that what are the innovation and how we can go ahead with that innovation and patent filing. So here the data is actually talking in something different. That where is Mark is um, the patent portfolio value is 24 billion, and um, I, uh, that uh, uh, IBM is 26. Whereas that R&D investment is 2.1 billion and the IBM is 5.5 billion, but the patent numbers are totally different. Now I am going to talk on the globalization of this, what are the uh, challenges in the innovation front. Products can be made anywhere, ideas can move, it is basically a global village. So ideas can move instantly around the world, collaboration is of increasing importance, capital and raw material while important do not define the competitive advantage. And the competitive advantage not lies, now lies in the ideas, the uh, only way to protect the ideas. These are the very standard. Uh, uh, challenges for a product company. I my I came from an IT service company. Our challenge is much more bigger, much more, because we give service to uh, different competitors. Like we give service to the Nokia, we give service to the Qualcomm, we give service to the uh, competitors. The service company has a different challenges, different kind of challenges. That um, that uh, how we can how we can protect our own innovation, how we can protect our and at the same time, we should not infringe to others, our competitors. And at the same time, we should not, means from one competitor's IPs, should not uh, siphon in that other company's IP. So there are the three, three various kind of complexities that there are in the IT service industries. So our own innovation protection of the, our own innovation and enforcement in the different competitors, how to take care on that. So basically, that open patent filing, that uh, global, this is a balance innovation that is talking going on. There is a uh, open patent filing kind of talks are going on. The transference on the ownership and those kind of things. Then open patent review. There is a peer review process. 
process has been started uh, uh, in U.S. And uh, uh, whether that will be successful or not, we need to see that one. And whether we can adopt that one in India also, we need to look into that one. Then open collaboration, like freedom to innovate across the disciplines and uh, open source. So there are various kind of complexities on that. Then the standards, open standards. So earlier the regime was a closed innovation. In closed innovation, there is a form, there is an R&D team inside the form. Uh, that a company is investing in the, uh, inside the farm and they are bringing out the products or whatever that um, uh, IPs and then they are going to the market but the uh, world is changing so fast that there is a different marketplace there is internet technology base and it is licensing, it is spinning out then there is a collaboration with the universities then there is a collaboration with the partners then the collaboration with the uh, uh, other other companies, even the collaboration with the uh, competitors, even we have the collaboration with the, that in Infosys we have a different kind of that kind of things that we have a collaboration with the competitors, we have a comp collaboration with the university in the same project. The universities are there, the competitors are there, the uh, partners are there, the clients are there in the same project. So this is a, a, a bit complex environment. And this is an open innovation model, so none of the companies actually is talking about that they are, like earlier, they can alone they can come out with the innovation. Um, so these are the challenges are there and we need to adapt from the IP management perspective, we need to adapt all these challenges. Because the world is going towards, towards that direction. This is the era of Facebook, this is the era of uh, uh, social, social media. Correct? The people are meeting and people are talking on that. So how do, those are the challenges that is we face in the IP management. So what are the different open innovation things are there? The party that licensing a patent, forming a joint venture, jointly developing a product, accepting an uh, uh, idea submission, and all these things are not one-on-one. -on -one. It is a multiple, multiple various groups are involved in that as I uh, you know, mentioned earlier. So what was there earlier? Earlier that R&D was a cost center and the think tank. Now it is uh, revenue targets. And most of the companies are shifting towards the revenue target, towards the performance standards. So R&D is more and more focused on the, uh, so towards the enforcement. It is a good for that one towards, they are also for the enforcement, how uh, they can uh, achieve certain uh, new targets. Earlier that was, was not there. So in that way that innovation is coming out because that invention is going earlier also, now also. Now the enforcement, that, uh, uh, that revenue targets. So those kind of things are coming up. Now the competition, earlier it was a very static and predictable. Now it is confined to an industry, but now it is instant dynamic entrance, new entrance. And we don't know who is filing a patents. The same patents, sometimes it may not come out from the computers. It may come out from somewhere else. Someone will file a patent in something else. The competition and time and resources. Earlier it was a long development cycle and long window. And now today it is a very short development cycle, basically in the software industries. Lifespan is hardly three to five years. Uh, in the in the telecom sectors, it's a hardly like to three to five years. So those are the new challenges are coming coming out. <clears throat> then the marketplace earlier it was a regional and the sequential launches. Now it is a global and simultaneous launches. The Microsoft I mean, uh, are uh, at least ten years back, eight years back when Microsoft uh, is launching uh, is Windows in US. after six months it is it launches in India. Now it it is in the same day, the same day they are launching. So it is uh, uh, that uh, simultaneous launches, the marketplace, it is like a global village. So we, the protection has to be in the same time. That we cannot delay the protection, protection in the different countries. So now earlier it was an indigenous development. The theme is the co-creation. There is a tons of tons of books on the innovation management on the co-creation model. So, uh, and, uh, uh, so this is the era of the co-creation. And these are the challenges for us, like uh, who is uh, in this IP profession, intellectual property profession. So the various player, players on the open innovation, there's an inventor, 
the inventor can be anywhere the inventor can be from three different companies three from universities there is a transformer who takes that idea and makes that one in a uh, more productized way or market sellable way then there is a financer and then there is a broker so and these are the four players who are playing that it may not be in the company it can be in the different company so who is going to own who will take the revenue sharing what will be the uh, 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 the enforcement mechanism and all these things has to be tied, uh, has to be uh, talked on that. So these are the open these are the challenges that in the uh, open innovation model. Now in the IP IP management perspective, <coughs> so IP is a means to mark innovation or enable innovation, thereby establishing the relationship with organization, client, clients, and individual that should or could adopt the innovation. so these are the challenges for us the major ip challenges in the last 10 years that how does ip create value to the businesses ip is treated as a good to have most of the companies ip is a good to have kind of thing it is not must to have what i mean is that it is not into the business strategies then ip department is a cost center kind of things now it is changing ip center is more, no more it should be a profit center in most of the companies the driven is the profit center why should i integrate the ip strategy the business strategy of the organization ip is a very very expensive and is, these are the question is maybe answerable the mnc guys can answer more uh, for indian perspective for indian mnc firms indian united mnc firms these are the answers that we need to give every day means we are struggling to give how we can give that one to our management what is the ip value real ip value the corporate ip management is assess that uh, ip value drivers <coughs> create the road map and the action and control so these are the ip management that we need to when we form a ip team we need to make it that one then creation and protection of the intellectual assets investment the ip creation the innovation and the commercialization all together is basically should be in the ip management process and it should be in the same ip management cell now the structure of the ip management also has been changing i am seeing that one i am in this field for the last 12 years and i am seeing the changes earlier it used to be in under the legal head now it is shifting it is going to as the r&d head under the r&d head function now slowly it is moving towards the corporate under the corporate function as a corporate function not tied to the ceo or ceo but uh, and the new designation of ip head as slowly people have started talking on chief intellectual property officer and that person may not be a lawyer he should be a management so this is a marriage between the marriage between the lawyer and the uh, management guy so the shift may not be today but slowly it is shifting it is going to be it is changing in western world in the european countries it is changing in few companies but in india we are still uh, at least in infosys uh, it is under the r&d it is not under legal and most of the mnc when uh, my previous companies it was under the legal so why i am talking about this one because this un un unless this four things is in the same umbrella the real value of ip will not come up the real value will not come up. most of the patents that we file on an average the statistics table that 90 to 92% 90 to are on the self only 8% is for either for the defensive purposes or the for the offensive purposes and very few companies are actually working on the patent as offensive yeah tunis <laughs> I'm not in the middle. Uh, give me five. <laughs> okay, that uh, I'll just uh, uh, shift a uh, couple of slides now. I will directly. So in the IP management, the IP strategy, IP integration, IP metrics, all the IP risk management is a big thing in India now. IP risk management, any IP cell or IP department, there is a risk management team. and there is a training and evaluation so i will directly now go to the software side 
IP management, I'll just keep that one. In the software part, what are the difference between the software? A business method patent is one patent, many products. A pharmaceutical patent is one patent, one product. And for the software, it is one product, many patents. So the complex technology, so the, actually the uh, complexity uh, of the software things, so basically fundamentally two, uh, two things in the software patent that differences, that is the innovation is sequential, that each successive innovation on, is on the top of the previous one, and the research efforts at each stage are complementary. The different inventors uh, have different ideas uh, about the same thing. So these are the fundamental two different, the sequential and the complementary in nature. And because of that, a lot of debates on that, whether software patent, what software patent and all these things. Software in IP, um, I'll just keep these slides. These are the asset management, I thought of that. Uh, the, just this slide I'll on that. Uh, in uh, this is uh, that software in the software industry, the patenting side, it is a uh, uh, seventy percent, maybe sixty to seventy percent in the in the other IP like trade secret and all these things, and the thirty to forty percent is the patent copyright and all these things. The most of the uh, uh, balance sheet, yearly balance sheet, when they talk about the intellectual assets, managed assets. Most of the companies are showing only the goodwill part. The rest of the parts are still missing. So there is a lot of talk on the international gap and the accounting principles that how to put that one in the IP uh, under different categories. So once that is done, I hope that more uh, uh, it can go through in the inside the uh, company can be more uh, interested on that. Now the growing problem in the software industry basically the patent tickets are going to explain, uh, then the patent trials and the quality patents. Because of these three, primarily these three things, the software patents has got a bad name, that whether the software patent should be there or not. So that basically we need to challenge these things <coughs> instead of a blanket statement that uh, there should not be a software patents. The patent quality is an issue, possibly the 60% of the patent issued by the USPTO and other offices, other countries' offices is uh, not valid, invalid patents, uh, uh, practically impossible to review all the software products. So these are the challenges there. So I'll just give <coughs> two, two parts, that in a software patent, in a patent is the three things, like patent height, patent width, and patent length. The, uh, the patent, if the patent height is too low, patent width is too wide, and the patent length is too long. So these are the fundamental challenges in the, there is a mathematics on that, uh, uh, by a uh, Stanford professor that uh, what should be, where should we look into the software patents and how we can um, give a grant on the software claims, software patent claims. What should be, so there is a uh, maths on that. So there is a uh, like impact challenges when you talk about the innovation we need to think on the society. There is a, if the patent length is too low, the social welfare will be better. If the patent width is low, then the social will be better. If the patent height is higher, then the social welfare uh, is not, it will come down. So these are the things that we need to look into that one. Because of that, um, uh, in the software area, because it is a patent ticket is a problem, patent trolling is a problem, and the quality itself. So how to improve the quality part? That is the, the uh, and what what kind of patent, software patent should be issued by the various patent offices. So those are the things I'll just touch base on that. There's a little math on that. Now I'll just have two, Sorry, two, just, just two, two slides. We have to respect the other speakers. Yes, and one, 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 one last thing. You have 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> one. So there was, uh, there, uh, <laughs> okay, the, the, this slide is talking about what is the software part say in US, US patent office, that what the software patents can be granted or not, there is a flow chart. Till then, till now, there is a, nothing was there in India. But recently, uh, uh, one month back, one and a half months back, the Indian Patent Office also came out with these kind of uh, things. That uh, which, so what is the software per se means, and what is the software per se that they uh, they were going to grant in India. So in this, I just close this one. I think Santanu will go uh, more on details on that. So thank you. Thank you.